right now. When you talk about out of your comfort zone, there were big red ants. Hello, beautiful besties, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much, and welcome back, besties. Today, I am sharing with you five fragrances that I wore on vacation, five fragrances that I think are absolutely amazing and that you need to know about if you do not already. I also will be doing a get ready with me. Yes, girl, yes, guy, you heard it correctly. I am doing a get ready with me, sharing with you one of my favorite foundations. Thank you so much to Nordstrom's for sponsoring today's video. I truly appreciate you. If you want to see what's in store in this video, please continue to watch. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous door lanes. So if that seems like something that you'd want to be a part of, you would be into, first of all, stop what you're doing, drop me your sin of the day. Second of all, tap the notification bell. It's gonna alert you every single time there is a new video placed on this channel. And if you really want to become a bestie, all you have to do is come over on Instagram, slide in the DM, and say hello. Without further ado, we are jumping into this video right now. I just want to make mention of this right now just in case I forget because you guys already know. Every single product that I am talking about today can be picked up at Nordstrom's and I got one better for you. I am going to link everything so should you want to pick anything up everything is going to be where? Down in the description box below. On to the video. Before we start any makeup we are definitely going to get the sunscreen on okay. This is super goop and this is my new absolute favorite. This has become bay. I kid you not. This is in the shade sunset. Next we are gonna go in with, okay you guys I have a lot going on, okay I got three cameras going, but anyways next we are gonna go in with one of my favorite foundations and this is by Estee Lauder and this is called Double Wear. I am in the shade 6W1, it looks like this here. And of course I have some amazing fragrances that I want to share with you. The reason why I'm choosing Estee Lauder Double Wear for today's foundation, because I have tons of foundations, but it is because of the simple fact that it's hot outside. It's hot outside and you want something that is going to be able to not have you too matte. Now I am the kind of girl that does like to be matte. You guys, I can look at you, okay? And do this at the same time, but you know I love you like cook food. And for concealer today, I am in the shade Carmel. This is deep. Or no, it's not. It's deep, medium, too. And this is by NARS. I love this concealer. It's creamy. It's rich. It's easy to apply. I love the fact that it doesn't cake up and look like a cake face. So this is a concealer that I am using today. After the concealer, um, right away, I try and go in with the translucent setting powder. This is the one that I'm using today. This is the translucent setting powder by Laura Mercier. And I told you guys already that I am a blush girl. <laughs> I love the blush, okay? You do that little fake smile, hey. <laughs> and I take it all the way up here. I need you to be, like, be still, like get out of the way. I take it all the way up all the way up, which is probably horrible. I put it on my forehead. Hey, listen, I do makeup the way I do it, okay? I love it. I love blush. I'm like heavy on blush right now and sunscreen. It's what it is. All right, I move on. I already have naturally full brows, so it doesn't take much for me to fill them in, but I always like to use something like a really thin, thin, thin uh, pencil, and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is in the shade Dark Brown, and this is the Brow Wiz. What I love about this is that it does have the pencil on one side, and then on the other side, it does have the spoolie, so it's dual-sided, so that makes it really nice. I really get light on the tail end of my brows. I had them done. Well, I'm not gonna say I had them done. What had happened was I was younger, and all my aunts used to go and get their brows done, and they would do it themselves a lot, and so I just thought I would do my own brows, and one of them I shaved like kind of bald, and it doesn't grow back in certain places so whatever but um yeah that's neither here nor there I also use a clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills as well this is really good because sometimes I don't know why my brows just do their own thing like they'll get in and just start going every which way but this kind of keeps them still but I don't like it when it's so still it's like having um like I don't know like too hard of a gel on your brow. I still like it to look natural and feel natural. I don't want nothing hard on my face. So this just keeps it in place and I really like that. So that's what I use for my brows. Now we are on to, ooh, am I doing a contour? I don't really do contour. Like, cause I don't know where to contour. I do know where to contour. But every time I get a shade, 
it's like too dark and I don't like it. This is um, Charlotte Tilbury. This is what I'm using here. Look at this, you guys, okay? I am faithful to the makeup products that I use. This is an airbrush bronzer and this is in the shade Deep Four. And I'm just gonna put a little bit. This is not even the right brush, but I'm not doing a whole lot. And I have a really small forehead, so it doesn't really even make sense for me to, uh, you know, go in and do the forehead. Oh, I have to share with something with you guys that happened to me too. Um, we'll get back to it. You know, I got to focus and then I try and chisel it out a little bit and come down here because mm, When I was on vacation the food was so good. Oh my gosh. No It was like food that I really don't eat You know what I mean? Like food that I rarely eat because I've been trying to be on my straight and narrow my healthy kick or what have you But we were on vacation and we have friends and they were like just live just eat just get something So I did so as soon as I got back and I worked out the whole time that we were there Like we took walks I hiked. Oh my god. I fell three times during the hike. It's all right though I didn't I didn't get hurt, but I did fall like three times I was totally proud of myself because when you talk about out of your comfort zone you guys I was so out of my comfort zone. I'm done with this I can't do two things at one time. I could talk, talk and chew gum. I can talk and walk, but I cannot do makeup and stay focused and tell a story of what I'm trying to say all at the same time. It's a lot. But anyways, yeah, I did fall like twice. I was okay. I had a great time. I did things I never did before. I was in like a dark cave where water was flowing in. I hiked to the top of a mountain. I, um, what else did I do? I had so much fun. It was just like a trip of a lifetime, you guys. Like, honestly, I kid you not. I could not express how thankful to God that I am that, um, you know, I'm able to do stuff like that. But yeah, it was really, really fun. Where am I at now? Oh, for uh, mascara. The mascara of choice is Their Real by Benefit. This is really good. I like this one too. I love the uh, wand on it. I've already put, um, False lashes on, I'll link them down below. But I already put those on, and then sometime I put a little bit on the bottom, but not really. Why do we all make that face when we do the bottom lashes? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and another question I have, a 2.5. How often do you all wash your makeup brushes? Like I wear, I only wear makeup on the weekends. I don't wear Monday, Monday through Thursday night, Friday night maybe if I'm going somewhere. But most of the times I only wear makeup on the weekend um, because my life, I'm going to the gym and I'm not putting any makeup on to go to the gym. And I do always go in and take my real lashes and blend them in with the lashes, you know, so that it looks cohesive. Sometime if I'm going out like at night and I did a smoky eye look or something like that, I would go in and take a dark, like dark, dark brown or either jet black and I will put like a, some type of, uh, what do you call it? Dark eyeliner pencil underneath just to blend them even more. But we're not going for that look today. Like I said, real simple, real cute. So then the other thing that I'm going to do and we are done, I am going to go in. This is the Mac lip pencil here. And this is in the color cork. This is basically what I use every single time. It's like a dark lip liner. And for my lip, this is my famous combo. This is what I have been rocking forever. Even before it was popular, I was already rocking this. I, I'm just saying, I was doing what I was doing. This is in the shade Penelope Pink, and this is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is from their Kissing Collection, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. This is in the shade, like I stated, Penelope Pink. It is my favorite. Uh, let me show you what that looks like. It's like a nudie brown kind of pink color if you could see that there so against my skin you could see how well that matches it's not too much when you first put it on initially it's like girl what in the world but I just want it in the center mm-hmm just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, I also like, oh my gosh, I am making a mess here. I like uh, Charlotte Tilbury, and this is in the color Pillow Talk, yeah. Pillow Talk is pretty too. Like I said, all of these products can't, um, you guys don't judge, I, I use my products, okay? All of these products can be picked up at Nordstrom. Nordstrom Beauty is a great place to find all of your beauty products, all of your beauty needs. So do not forget, like I said, to check out the description box, but this is right here is really good. Good. It gives, girl, it gives like a gloss to it, but not too much gloss. Cause when I'm out, I don't want to have too much gloss. Cause if I'm drinking something 
or eating something and it comes off. I don't want to look like what in the world happened. My hair is like so all over the place right now. But yeah, this is it. This is basically it. This is what I do. You cannot forget your setting spray, especially with it getting ready to be really hot, which is already hot here. Monday I had on the air. By Tuesday or Wednesday I had on the heat. I don't know what's going on with the weather, but do not forget your setting spray. One of my favorite ones, which I share with you guys all the time, is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the setting spray. I have told you and shared with you before and then immediately girl I don't know why I did that now I just wet my hair anyways um you want to hit it with the fan so that it could go in and dry and it just melts everything it blends everything it melts everything it brings everything together it brings the whole look together which I love and that's basically it I turned off one of the lights and my light is leaving so that you can see just by me putting the setting spray on how it just blended and melted the whole look or melted the whole look and brought it together and this is typically what I do this is like really easy this is simplistic this is not even like a soft glam this is just like putting on makeup to have like a face for the day to go run errands to do things normally I'll have something like this here and if I see anything that just needs to be blotted or anything that just needs to come together a little bit more I'll do that with this setting spray allow me to say this you can put this on before your makeup and after um, and then I put it on in between too like after the powder process but I didn't put very much powder on today so is that even a word very much powder all right let's get into the fragrance guys a lot of these fragrances I took with me in decans on vacation because I just could never have enough fragrance you know how I feel about fragrance you need a fragrance to fit every occasion when you're on vacation and to me I don't want to be without any of the vibes so I brought tons of fragrances with me I brought three of these and then one of them are new I got a new fragrance I told you guys I was gonna pick up a new fragrance but the first one I want to talk about is I dull this one here is absolutely beautiful this is a beautiful rose fruit pear classy elegant fragrance I talk about it all the time when it first came out it was all the rage this is the one with Zenzeha I believe it was created created by three women uh, boss classy on their own grind kind of women and it's just a really beautiful fragrance so if you are needing something for spring or summer and if you live somewhere where it's warm this can be worn year around this is a beautiful fruity classy sophisticated kind of bossy even type rose pear fruity fragrance yes it's all the vibes I move on now this one I brought with me and I'm smiling so hard because I love it you guys this fragrance is so sexy to me okay it is so sexy to me I absolutely love it. This is Goddess. I love it. It's bourbon vanilla. It is creamy. It is sexy. It is bergamot. It is rich. It is perfect for spring and summer. Now the intense version is a little sticky. It's a little bit more decadent. It's a little bit more loud. It's a little bit more out there. I definitely feel that is more, what would I say, uh, winter, fall. But you already know, spray what you want, when you want, and spray as much of it as you want. But if we were sticking with the categories of when the fragrance would shine during its prime, this is prime time right now, spring, summer for goddess. So if you have not tried it, I would highly recommend it. It is like a one and done. I took this because we were out a lot you guys especially oh my gosh it's good it kind of smells like being at the pool being on vacation it kind of gives that type of vibe as well I cannot stay on it all day grow move on now this one here is bae this is not everybody's cup of tea but this was voted the number one fragrance time and time again girl tell us what it is this is a black opium black opium is always going to make a list for me I sleep in this fragrance I hang out in this fragrance I put it on daily just to be in the house in this fragrance so this is one that will forever be in my collection I have had it forever uh, I started with a really small one and then I went to this one and this one has been in my collection ever since this is coffee this is vanilla this is a little bit of patchouli down in the base you cannot go wrong if you want that one and done signature scent worthy, date night scent worthy, date day scent worthy, every day worthy, go run errands worthy. This is where it's at. Black Opium can get it. YSL. I move on. So you guys remember a couple of weeks, I don't even know, I can't keep up back. I was telling you about fragrances in my collection that I love, but I don't really smell them. So I was sharing this one and this is YSL and this is Mon Paris. This is a beautiful rose, classy, sweet, patchouli, creamy, pretty girl fragrance. Gorgeous. Okay. And a lot of you were like, girl, it lasts on me forever. It must be my body chemistry that it's not vibing with, but this is gorgeous. So I did take this because this is light. Now I was also afraid being out uh, walking around, hanging out um, on vacation that the bees were gonna attack me. This is bee proof because it actually, to be honest with you, 
I think I only seen one fly. I didn't see a lot of bugs in Maui. I really did not. I know who's looking for the bugs. Although I did take yoga on the beach one morning and she told us not to use yoga mats. She's like, don't bring your yoga mat. Just use a beach towel. So she handed all of us towels, right? I'm going somewhere. And so I'm back there and I'm doing my poses, sun salutations, up dog or a forward dog, down dog, you guys. It has been a long time since I have taken or taught yoga. And I was all over the place. And so then I'm laying there. We're getting ready to go into Shavasana. And all of a sudden, I feel something crawling on me. The ants, they were big red ants. And they were attacking me everywhere. I was like, oh my gosh. She was like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, I'm not okay. These ants are all over me. They are attacking me. And she's like, oh my gosh, come up to the front of the room. So I can't say that they were on me for the uh, the fragrance because they were on half the class. But I was just like very uncomfortable with ants crawling on me during Shavasana. So this right here, I go to say, as far as bugs go, no bugs attack me. When I went to Kabul that one time and I wore that sweet Kayali fragrance, the bugs were, and the bees were all over me. I did not experience that with this one. I just had to let you know, it's bug proof, in my opinion. Another one I picked up. Now this one is new to the collection. This is recent, this is new. This is Mon Perry, but this is Luminaire. It's floral, Turkish rose, lemon, lotus, aquatic. It's patchouli down in the base. It's perfect for spring, summer, perfect for right now. So I do wanna see what this is giving. Oh my God, it's good. It's really good. It smells a tad bit sweeter. More, maybe the Turkish rose is standing out in here. Oh, and you know how I feel about Turkish rose. I love Turkish rose. Oh my gosh, okay. Now I can't give you longevity, anything like that because when I wore it, I cat it on for about four or five hours. I was able to smell it the entire time. So if you ask me about longevity, I would tell you it's moderate. It was not beast mode. It's not gonna get there before you do. It's not gonna be there long after you leave. I mean, you know, it didn't do that for me. Fragrances are subjective and they are different. They perform different on all of us. So I will play with this a little bit more. I will come back and definitely let you know what I felt about it, how it performed. This is definitely going with me on my next vacation because I am gonna be going on another vacation here soon. So I'm definitely going to decant this and take this with me and then I do have a question when you guys are going on vacation do you take your full bottles or do you just take decants leave it down in the comment section below I would love to know and that is it for this video thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel today and watch it I truly appreciate you you know I love you like I love cooked food do not forget to check the description box everything will be linked there all of the products all of the makeup products everything is going to be linked in the description box below if you want to know the star of the show to me it is super goop this right here is bay I mean I have not been out in the sun that long and did not get any breakouts. My skin is very, very sensitive. And if I can tell you that this product like wowed me, like really, really wowed me, it wowed me. This is a star of the show to me. So if you wanna give a round of applause, give a round of applause to Super Goop Glow Screen. And this is in the shade Sunset. It will be linked for you below. And the fragrant star of the show is going to be Alien Goddess. This is so good. These two right here, okay? had me in my feelings all vacation. I was smelling good and I was glowing and shining. Like I said, you can mix this in your foundation, you can wear it alone, you can use it as a primer. These are all the things that I did with it and for me, it performed really well. Thank you so much to Nordstrom's for sponsoring today's video. I truly appreciate you. As I stated, you guys, do not forget to check out the description box. Everything will be linked for your convenience. Until next time, besties, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, duelings. Thanks for watching.